Welcome to JC2 presentation and performance. This year we are representing this year we are representing the province of Kinsatuna. To let you know the beauty of the province, we have created a video. My name is Jerome and my part of the video creation is as a creative director. Hi, I'm Kanita and I'm also a creative director. Hi, I'm Jofan, I'm the video editor. Hello, I'm Wilson, I'm the assistant producer. Hello, uh, oh, my name is Marcel, I'm the assistant of Jerome. My name is Dennis, and I'm the producer and video editor. Hi, A volcanic island deep in rich cultural history where the skills of the warrior are home and legends of the past will resonate. West Nusa Tenggara Close by the up-and-coming Mandalika Resort area with its glitzy hotels lies a village that seems frozen in time. The incredible warmth of the community is just something truly special. To marry, a Sasak woman must first master the art of weaving. Failure to do so would mean ending up as an old maid or having to pay a fine in order to get married. Weaving pays the bill so it is an essential skill to help care for the family whilst ensuring that future generations do not lose this art. The patterns, colors, and thread symbolizes the cycle of birth, marriage, and death. Besides dexterous hands and sadi, you will also find agile feet that move to the beat. Tari Patuk is a traditional dance performed at a coming of age ceremony for recently circumcised Sasak boys. A solo male performs the Tari Patuk to entertain the much younger boys, all to the beat of the Patuk and Ganang Belek drums. The Sasak are known as skilled and fierce fighters who earn their reputation as warriors over the in olden time, the Parisian or stick fighting was held at the end of the dry season. A sacrifice of blood spilled on the earth soil was believed to bring the first rain from heaven. Parisian requires speed, power, and endurance, but it's not just about the physical skill, it's also a great leveler. All are equal during this fight, no matter what their social standing is. Lombok Island is a volcanic island surrounded by coral reefs and dotted isles within the Indonesian archipelago. It's often referred to as Bali Sister Island. There's an abundance of incredible things to do in Lombok, offering raw and memorable travel experiences. They are very proud of their sacred mountain, Gunung Klingjani, which is an active volcano with hot springs and an incredible crater lake. Conversely, the central regions of Lombok is dense with tropical jungle and many impressive waterfalls. Talimang chicken is a grilled chicken which is processed with certain spices so that it gives a strong taste. It is always accompanied by a plunging of kale and eggplant. Taliwang chicken comes from Taliwang. The origin itself comes from the name of the Taliwang kingdom. Taliwang chicken itself first appeared as a food of peace in the midst of war between the Salaparan kingdom and the Karangasam kingdom. Uh -huh. 
riset tentang kuliner NTB NTB oh NTB ya sok sok nah ini kan ayam taliwang iya betul aslinya NTB lombok ya nah bapak orangnya asli sana nggak saya lahir di sana wih oh, nah ya. ini guys yang kita cari kita tadi cari ayam taliwang lagi loh tapi orangnya nggak ada ayamnya <laughs> Ya, orangnya kan? ada, ayamnya nggak ada. Ya, orangnya ada, ayamnya nggak ada, belum ditangkap katanya. Sejarahnya ayam taliwang oh, apa sih, Pak? Sejarahnya ayam taliwang bisa jadi makanan khas NTB. Dulu sih apa? Uh, makanan sehari-hari. Cuman pakai apa? Cabe, terus ada bawang putihnya, ada tomat gitu aja. Arti taliwang itu apa, Pak? Nama daerah. Jadi dari Taliwang, dari Taliwang. Dari Taliwang itu terkenal ayamnya empuk. Cuman bumbunya sama. Satu NTB itu bumbunya plecing semua. Ya plecing. kita udah ada ayam taliwangannya taliwangnya di sini and kita mau coba yeah. actually comes with mm-hmm. ayam taliwang terus ada cucumber juga terus ada sambal ya sambal kucing namanya yeah. we present to you the beauty of Nusa Tenggara Barat province in Indonesia. It comprises the western portion of the Lesser Sunda Island, with the exception of Bali which is its own province. Mataram, Lombok, is the capital and largest city of the province. Let's discover more about Nusa Tenggara Barat. But Sasambo is? Sasambo is an abbreviation of Sasak, Samawa, and Bojo, namely the tribe who inhabit the province of Nusa Tenggara Barat. In this province, there is a line that divide the two Polynesian Malay language groups, which are referred to as the West Nusantara subgroup and the Eastern Archipelago, precisely between the area that speak the Samawa language, Sumbawa, and the Bojo language, Bima, on the island of Sumbawa. Oh, what language do they speak? The subtribes has a very different dialect and also a lot of different vocabulary. One vocabulary I know is Tampi Ase, which means thank you. Let's get to know the Topat War Ceremony by the Sasak, one of the beauties of Nusa Tenggara Barat. Topat War is a series of Puja Wali ceremonies, namely ceremony as an expression of gratitude to mankind who has been given salvation, as well as asking for blessings from the Creator. Various activities were held before and after Topat War. The Topat War tradition is a hereditary tradition that began after the Balinese colonization of Lombok in the past. This tradition is carried out by throwing stones at each other using ketupat between the Muslims and the Hindus of Lombok. By wearing tradition Sasak and Balinese clothes, thousands of Sasak residents and Hindus peacefully celebrate the religious ceremony which is celebrated every year. Does Nusa Tenggara Barat have its own kingdom? The Selaparang Kingdom is one of the Islamic kingdoms in Lombok, West Nusa Tenggara. The founder of the Selaparang Kingdom was Said Zulkarnin, also known as Kyaik Abdurrahman. The Selaparang Kingdom was known to be tough, both on land and sea. 
This kingdom is increasingly experiencing rapid progress after being moved to Selaparang village, which is currently located in East Lombok. Thank you for sharing that with me, Joe. Apart from its historical facts about its kingdom, one thing I know about Nusa Tenggara Barat is its famous story about clothing. One type of clothing I know for sure is a pagan traditional clothes, which are the traditional clothes of Mas Nusa Tenggara originating from the Sasak tribes, where these clothing are specifically used by men. Pagan is a traditional dress in the form of a suit with a dark color where its traditional clothing is also still influenced by Japanese culture. Wow, there are a lot for us to discover about Nusa Tenggara Barat. If you want to know about Nusa Tenggara Barat more, come and join us, the JC2 Garuda Classroom. Tapi asik. Thank you, now we will, we will have a performance from science students who will sing and dance the song Kadal Mango. From Marisa and Michelle, please stand, step up to the stage.